Hello, welcome to my channel. I wanted to show you my Hanukkah slash Christmas tree that I created last season. I purchased the tree from the drugstore that I used to work at. Its retail price is $14.99 and there's a battery box where it has the light switch that you could just tuck inside the tree planter. I put this headband on the tree, well the hat from a headband that I got also at the store that I used to work at and I just ripped off the headband part and placed the hat on top of the tree. Also I wanted to hang up that big Jewish star. On one side it's blue and the other side it's silvery sparkly and um, since I wasn't quite comfortable hanging it up in our apartment, being that I'm the only Jew <laughs> in my little family that I created for myself, um, I decided to just stick it on top of my tree. Like, traditionally, you would put a star on your Christmas tree. Well, I put my Jewish star on top of my Hanukkah tree. Originally, it started as a Hanukkah tree. That's why it has all these Hanukkah decorations and... <laughs> I forget where I get where I got all of them, but I know that for the most part the decorations are probably from the drugstore that I worked at. The Jewish star was probably from Target, and the Happy Hanukkah, what should have been a gift tag that says Happy Hanukkah that I'm hanging up on the side of the tree, that was definitely from either Walmart or Target last season. Hanukkah season that I'm showing right now in the tree. It came with the lights, which is why there's a little battery pack with the light switch on it that you could just turn on and off as you like. Um, all the toys that are hanging up on the tree, I want to say 99% of them are for my nephew Lucas. Lucas is two years old. He'll be three in April. He is the cutest thing you've ever seen. And I know that a lot of people say that their nephews their kids are the cutest thing you've ever seen but no my nephew Lucas he is like the coolest little kid um, anyway so he loves cars and superheroes his favorite is probably Iron Man and it's probably because ever since he was born his grandpa and his dad have been calling him Iron Man I don't know why but they did and it just stuck with him so the funny thing is, Lucas thinks, well, I don't know if he thinks he's Captain America, but I remember on Halloween, or the day before Halloween, because in the town where he lives, they celebrate Halloween the night before, like trick-or-treating, it's the night before what the traditional Halloween is. So Lucas, when these other kids who were older than him asked him what his name was, the kids lived in the house behind them, um, he said, Captain America. And Lucas was not even dressed as Captain America. Excuse me, he was dressed as... Um, what was he? I think he was... I forgot what character he was. Oh, he was Hulk. He was Hulk for Halloween. Or like, the town's Halloween. Trick or treating night. And he kept saying he was Captain America. And I'm like, Lucas... What's your name? <laughs> Trying to like hint to him what his name is to the kids. And he kept saying Captain America. And I'm like, I. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Lucas loves Marvel and DC Comics characters, especially Superman, Spider Man, and Iron Man, and Hulk, and Aquaman. Um, sorry for like the random paper on the floor, I thought I'd cut it out. <laughs>